All right, we'll kick this video off early from the comfort and air conditioning of the truck. You'll note that today I'm not fooling around like I did yesterday. I am <coughs> Corona um, suited up for this this swarm capture. Hopefully they aren't flying off behind me right now. I don't think so, but it's a pretty big swarm, and um, I'll put my little hat on. Probably not going to turn the truck off right away. Uh, yeah, I've actually, I better because it's going to be sitting here for a minute. Um, same spiel as yesterday. I got the bottom deep though. I'm gonna put a medium on top of that, shake them down in there. And there's a queen excluder on the very bottom board that will hopefully sit flush enough to uh, keep her butt in there. If I see her good, if I don't, not gonna worry about it. Um, hopefully I don't get crawled. Let's go do it. Yeehaw. Tripod stood up here real quick like and make some final adjustments here in a minute. Difficult not to get kind of ate up. I could have backed up a little bit more. I may. I may just leave it alone because if I do it like this, oh, I should be able to do it and service this thing from the truck while I'm standing on good old terra firma in the inevitable event that I have to bail out. corner what kind of video we got let's see here we'll do it like this and I can't zoom out oh well here a Some old comb. missing when I shake them just like yesterday this guy upside down right here looks like I can just about get this from here down the box. Got her. Woo! Yeah, boy. All right, let's see here. I get this in focus. All right, got the queen running around in there. Victory. Okay, adjust. It was a pretty good shake, honestly. About 100 times better than the first shake yesterday.
Wow. And some of them are gone back up the branch. That is satisfying right there. That is very satisfying. I cannot express how satisfying. Wait a minute. You got another one over here? What is that? Nah, it's just a... Yeah, unlike the bees yesterday, these guys are all fanning all across the top here. This is, this is nice. What I'm going to do, actually, I think I'm going to put her in a, uh, a cage and stick her up here in the top and probably slide out the excluder. That way I can get them in there kind of doing stuff for a couple days and then cut her loose and not have to worry about any drones or anything else that are in here getting stuck in the hive. And that's the problem you're running to with an excluder is you get, you get, although I don't see a lot of drones in this swarm, so, yeah, whatever. You get drones and stuff stuck above the excluder and it's just not a, not a good thing. For them, at least, it makes a mess in the hive too. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, dang it! Drop it. All right. Oh wait, I got that other cool guy. Cool guy, one that Eric Watson gave me. Good. Oh, it's broken. I don't have any tape in here. Can I fix it with some tape? go get that other swarm yet. I got a lot of space. These are all new frames. Set her down here. Kinda. Manipulate it a little bit. And I'm sure it'll drop down on the bottom. Alright. Yeah, we got some that went back up top. Another quick shake. Oh, dang, it's not as heavy now, I can't reach it. <laughs> Don't tell the dirt rooster to use his hat in such an offensive way. Well, if I can, dang. That's good. Put yourself in the face, miss the branch you want. Lightly. Look lively. Oh, they're running on the box. That's cool. I'm 
but some of them are going to go back up there. Mainly I'm kind of scoping for extra queens now. It's kind of cool. These guys have been pretty well mannered. I don't see... Yeah, I don't. I could have done this without the jacket, but you know how that goes. If you got the ja if you don't have the jacket on, they eat you up. If you got the jacket on, they're just the nicest things ever. Such a rush, I don't even have a good cover for it, so I'll have it glued down, I'm sure, in about a day. thing while they settle in try and get it to where uh, we get a good video here so kind of like yesterday I got a little bit of a crack across the top there to allow the pheromone to come out they obviously they have the front entrance um, the deep there has a whole bunch I say a whole bunch five or six frames of uh, old comb in it that's you know, smells good, and yeah, man, I really don't see any drones in this swarm, unlike that one yesterday. Uh, and they should, uh, they should start coming down here pretty quick. And uh, we're gonna call this one, and I guess I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna get that uh, other swarm out of the out of the tree since they're well and truly out of reach. There you go, woohoo!